Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are back out on the cabin and this time we are working on the back of the cabin roof. So we got to get the back of the cabin roof completely sheathed in this video as well as we need to do a little bit of a sheathing over top of this gap here so the water doesn't run down through the hinges on the flippy floppy door here. So we're going to be working on that right now. So let's do it. And we know where these boards are, we're gonna measure up on it so that we, we screw it in like this, right? We'll slide it over until it falls down and then pull it back in. And this board will be on top of the purlin. And then we don't even have to hold it, we can just screw it in. I see what you're saying. Do you really or you it? No, I do, I get okay. it. Well, up here on top of the door, we have these hinges. We're gonna sheath over here with some flashing. So when the door opens and closes, the sheathing will go up and down like this. And it will let the water run down over the hinge area, the gap here. So it'll be nice and dry all up in this area here. When you open the door, the sheathing will just kind of bend upwards slightly. It's not even bending that much, but just enough. But I have some flashing we're gonna put all along this section here. This side up here will tuck underneath the ridge cap, which will be right around here. And this will just screw into the tops of these ridges along the way here. So that way it keeps it nice and secure. If there's windy out, it won't go anywhere. And it'll get the water running straight down the roof. So right there, I've got the uh, rubber washer on the outside of the rivet just to add a little extra seal. We got the rivet with the washer on it. We're gonna poke this through the metal up top. I'm gonna slide the washer on underneath and then pull the rivet tight. A little bit too big of rivets, but it'll work. But I'm telling if that ain't a flaccid Peter with some foreskin, I don't know what is. <laughs> All right, so what we've done here is taken this galvanized metal, this flashing, we actually put the rivets here through the ridges on the sheet metal, use the washers from the metal screws, right? So now when he lifts that door, this piece of metal moves freely, stays here. The ridge cap's gonna go right over the top of it, just like this. So the water's gonna come off the ridge cap, onto this flashing, right off the roof. No leaks, no troubles. Boop.
All right, everyone, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. As you can see, Chris and I got most of the rear of the cabin roof completely sheathed in with the metal sheathing. It's actually 113 degrees out here with the heat index, so we are absolutely dying. So coming up in the next video, Chris and I are gonna tackle the sheathing of the final piece of the roof behind me right here. Problem is, this is gonna be pretty tough because as you can see, there's no way to easily pop out there and screw it in place. We're gonna build a little platform over here that we're gonna cantilever ourselves out and over so we can get up there and screw it in. So as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, smash that big red subscribe button, smash the notification icon down below so you know when I do post future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.